On the 4th of December, Malaysia Magistrate Court have issued a warrant to arrest Joe Lo, the infamous businessman who is linked with the 1MDB scandal. In return, Joe Lo responded to his spokesperson saying that he will not get a fair trial in Malaysia. Jolo was first linked with 1MDB back in May 2014 when Sarawak Report published an article about the development company scandal. Since then, his name has become synonymous with 1MDB. As we can see from the graph, the topic Jolo and the topic Jolo with 1MDB have a close trend. This shows that most of the time his name appeared in the media it will be about 1MDB. Looking at Jolo top issues for the past one year, all of the issues are related to 1MDB. For example, there are super yacht. Jolo is hiding in China. Najib was asked to come clean on Jolo and Billion Dollar Wheel, a book on 1MDB scandal. Prior to GE14, Jolo became famous in the media on February 28 after the Indonesian authorities seized a luxury yacht named Equanimity at Bali. It was reported that Jolo purchased the super yacht using the 1MDB fund. The issue of Equanimity seizure lasts for about a month, which slowly subsides towards the end of March. Looking at the top person list of the topic Equanimity for the past one year period, Jolo named Top the list appeared in 3,224 news in total. Meanwhile, former Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Razak, who is another key figure involved in the 1MDB scandal, only appeared in 1,240 news. For 1MDB topic, we can see that the trend has a slight spike in March due to the equanimity incident, but it soothed down later in April. However, 1MDB issue peaked in May after Pakatan Harapan won GE4. Since then, the issue of 1MDB has become a common topic to be reported by the media. For the past one week, the top issues of 1MDB include fresh charges against Jolo and arrest warrant on Jolo, which both are related to him. Besides, there are also other issues like 1MDB final audit report was tempered and US business person prepped 1MDB talking points for Najib. Now, from here, we can see that every time there is a news on 1MDB, it will most likely involve either Jolo or Najib or even both of them as the center of attraction. From what we can see, 1MDB is the only media association given to Jolo. On judicial grounds, prosecutor does not sentence someone based on his public image. As much as he claims to be innocent, unless everything covered by Sarawak Report and Wall Street Journal were a hoax, seems like the hard evidence does not stand on his side as well.